Kind of pictures. So this is the hood off of the shit box. So I'm gonna attempt to vinyl wrap it. I've never vinyl wrapped anything before. So I have this stuff which I bought it about a year ago. So we're gonna try to wrap it on this. That look okay, so I'm gonna try to do this. So I'm gonna line it up here. And I think I'm just gonna undo it and paste it underneath the hood. And that should keep all this stuff where she's supposed to be. Go. Hope I got enough room here. I think I do. Not enough, so I think. I think it's going to be perfect. So let's give her a shot. So let's see if there's any bubbles I can push out here. So, yeah. Let's do it. Give her a shot. Goes underneath, and this goes underneath. Peels underneath, so I'm gonna have to do some configuration here. I think it looks okay. So I'm turn this other side down. And it might be not look 100%, but it's better than having a blank hood. So, yeah, who knows? I may actually learn something. Okay. So that's in place. So these, everything should be lined up where it's supposed to be. This way, push some air bubbles out. I'm gonna kind of fast forward through some of these clips that are monotonous. Um, it's a learning process. I didn't have a heat gun, I didn't have a roller to get all the air pockets out of my hood. So I ended up doing this when it was like 110 out. So that's why it's molding, it's working like some way like it's supposed to. But that's what I'm trying to do, just use the heat to my advantage. And I'm just using my hand to kind of work these bubbles out the best I can and pull up where I have to to try to get where I can't get an air bubble to come out of like a crease or something like that. I was never able to get all the creases out, but it's, I have, I think I, there's like, we'll see. But there's one big crease in it. But it, I think it looks fairly decent. And so I kept having to pull up here and push out the air bubbles out the side with my hand, which if I had the tool itself, I probably could have made a lot better job. And if I did it, you know, with the heat gun and I've done it before, it probably would have looked a lot better. <laughs> So I'm dealing with all this, but you know, I'm, I don't have the proper tools for it. I was going to buy the squeegees and stuff like that. And I thought I had them, but I'm at the point where I got to get this thing out.
So I'm just gonna, it's gonna look like this. But so what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting these out. And so what I did is I just did a little bitty cross right here, like the length of it. And then I was able to push it down. doing it all the way down to the bottom because I don't want to see any hood which it might look better than this botched job but you know it don't matter at this point okay yeah, looks better so I'm gonna try to do the rest All right, so here's the final step. So you take the protective film off, so when you're mushing on it with your hand, if you have a tool, it can make scars and stuff like that. You take this protective film off, and then that's the final process, and you know, you should be done technically at this point, pushing down any air bubbles out of, this, out of your vinyl wrap. It's all right, so I cut off the excess and I got it all lined in here. So I pushed on, I pushed on the ledge here and then I pushed this in, try to make it as flush as possible here. So I'm gonna try to put this and mount it. So I'm, hopefully all this looks decent, you know, it's, it's All right, so that's what she looks like remounted up on there. It, I don't know if it was better unpainted, or, <laughs> but that's what I got. Next time I do want to make it better, but you know, I, I think it looks somewhat decent if you were like. Good. Good. Be a fixer, 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 fixer.